Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a little bit of a day in the life, sharing with you what my mornings look like. I'm always cleaning off Riker's tray from the night before because I typically forget. I'm just so tired at night. As soon as he's done eating, he goes into the bath and straight to bed. So this morning I'm just cracking open some farm fresh eggs. We get our eggs from um, somebody that Mike works with. He has a farm and I think that the eggs taste so much better. But something super weird is the yolks tend to like crack a lot easier. I was a little messy with them this morning, but I'm also making some turkey bacon. I really like the Sam's Choice turkey bacon, so we've been having that for breakfast lately. And if you are on Weight Watchers like I am, the eggs are zero points and the turkey bacon is only one point per slice. So that is why I usually gravitate towards the turkey bacon. And then I am making myself my espresso and I'm really, really wanting to get an espresso machine sometime this fall because all I drink is espresso. But anyway, and then I'm going to smash up the kids' eggs. This is how they like them. And then I will put it on a piece of toast. Kaya calls it egg toast. She likes her eggs like this. And then I'll cut up Riker's toast for him and feed him his eggs on the side. And this is my typical morning routine every single morning. I will be recording an in-depth morning routine for you guys here very soon. And also, oh my gosh, Riker, he's so cute. I, he just started using a big boy cup, even though it's pink, but boys like pink, right? So Riker's been using a big boy cup lately, and I think it's just the sweetest thing. Today's video is sponsored by Blue Ellie. Now I have been using Blue Ellie's products for quite some time. I've showed you guys them in previous videos. I absolutely love their little containers. I am setting up for a picnic for the afternoon for the girls and we're going to hang outside, have a picnic and play in the pool, hang out for the afternoon. I'm super excited. But I have these little lunch containers and I have sandwiches in there and then I use Blue Ellie's snack pouches for popcorn or sun chips, any kind of snack, and then I will also place that inside of the lunchbox. I will have a code down below for a discount for you guys as well as a link so that you guys can go and check out Blue Ellie. I absolutely love these containers. Like I said, they're so handy, especially with like having lots of picnics in the summer. I always bring these to the lake because they're just so nice to have out on the dock when the kids are splashing around and I can keep their food cold and have all of their snacks nice and fresh and packed up for them. I also love to use the little snack pouches when we go on road trips in the vehicle or when we're going on walks. My kids are always, always like little snack monsters. So I have these on hand with snacks in them all the time. Um, here I'm just putting a couple of peppers for the kids to munch on. These are just like mini peppers and they're so yummy. I like them when they're super cold. So that's why I'm keeping them in this like refrigerated type of container and then I'm also going to be putting together a little yogurt parfait and these containers are so cute because they come with a little spoon a collapsible spoon um, I have a pink one and I also have a blue one and it, I'm just adding a little bit of Greek yogurt to the bottom and then I top it off with some granola it is so yummy so again I will have blue Ellie's products linked down below for you guys as well as a discount code for you to use Don't mind me in my, like, this is my editing blanket. My new editing blanket <laughs> has a hood on it. Game changer. I think so. Anyways, good morning, guys. It's actually afternoon for me now. It's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And I have everything ready to go for that picnic, like you guys saw. Breakfast is cleaned up. Everything is, like, taken care of there. Got a little bit of straightening up done, and I'm feeling pretty good. 
So anyway, just wanted to hop on here and motivate you guys and tell you that if you're having an off day, which I talk about off days a lot here on my channel, but if you're having an off day, push through it and set yourself up for a better day tomorrow. Yesterday I had an off day and I was just tired and sleepy. I have a little bit of allergy going on or something. So my eyes are itchy and my nose is running. And I just was so tired yesterday. And I definitely set myself up for a better day today and I've been super productive and it makes me feel so much better when I do that. So just here to tell you if you're having an off day to push through it because it will be a better day tomorrow. So, all right, I am prepping to get the kids outside and we're gonna have a little bit of pool time and do a little walk. I'm gonna do a little bit of laundry and then we will see where the day leads me after that. Probably do some editing like I'm doing right now. So anyway, we're just waiting for Riker to wake up. Um, this morning too, I um, had Kaya do some chores, which Kaya did such a good job. I think she's at a really good age to start doing chores. Um, she <laughs> helped me vacuum. She like cleaned up the wall a little bit um, and like the cabinet underneath where the chairs are, like where the kids like eat because like food is always dropping underneath like onto the cabinet. I don't know how they managed to do it, but they do. Um, Anyways, I had her help me with that and she cleaned up the toys in the living room. She did such a good job. I'm like starting to kind of get her on like, a, I want to get her on like an award system. I'd like to do like a star, like a sticker chart. So like every, every day she does her chores, she'll get a sticker. And if she does it so many days in a row, she would get like an allowance and for an allowance for for almost five-year-old I like not actual money but maybe you know then once she gets to the end of the week and she does all of her chores we go out for ice cream or just something a little bit more age-appropriate than like money I don't know what do you guys do tell me in the comments below do you guys start chores when your kids are younger do you start right around this age do you start when they're a little bit older I'd love to know I think that Kai is at a really good age right now because she actually enjoys doing her chores she feels like she's doing like something grown-up so Anyways, let me know in the comments down below what you guys do for your kids' chores. I am going to prep here and get ready for a little bit of outside time and hang out for the afternoon. It's absolutely beautiful outside. Update on my um anyway, so <laughs> I ended up putting in one, two, three, four tomato plants and a couple jalapeno plants. And I don't know what this plant is doing, but it like keeps falling over because it's so heavy. Like it got so long. Like this is so weird. But anyway, okay, so I've got some tomatoes coming in a little bit here. I'm super excited. These are romas, which is why they look so weird. And then I think all of them have some pretty good little guys coming in. Oh, these are so cute and tiny. Jalapenos, these are almost ready to pick. Jalapenos, ooh, this guy's ready. Look at that. Jalapeno, tomatoes, more tomatoes. This is my like huge producer plant. This one has a couple of really big ones on it. I'm so excited for all these tomatoes. I love tomatoes so much. I'm gonna make so much salsa. This is another jalapeno plant that I planted too close. It's got a couple jalapenos on it right now, I think. Yep, one right there. So, everything's looking pretty decent. I just need to carry the mulch down here and then get the curbing in. Around here, this is another area that we're gonna be curbing out. Um, this is a hydrangea plant that I actually got. It was just like a bare root and it didn't have any leaves or anything when I first got it. It was just like some like stems with like roots and you let it grow like in the basement, like in a cold area for until like you can transfer it and it was literally down there for like a month and then now it's been outside it's been outside since like June-ish 
and it's been like all of this new growth on there. I'm super excited. So this is an incredible hydrangea, so it'll be like big, huge, white, fluffy flowers on here in the next couple years. It'll be beautiful. Okay guys, I'm going to share one of my secret weapons. I of course love my coffee, I love my espresso, but sometimes I just need an extra kick in the afternoon and this is like honestly one of the most amazing things for energy. And I'm finally, finally sharing my kale smoothie recipe with you. Okay, so I use my Ninja blender. Um, I really want to upgrade this blender eventually, but this was still like a hundred dollar blender um, What's the one that's like super good? So I really want to upgrade this blender eventually to a Vitamix because those just they just like blend so well But this one does a pretty good job um, Okay, so I'm gonna go over my ingredients with you first and there is a very specific order that you need to do it so so first thing I add in my kale smoothie is obviously kale. Um, I just buy the fresh, like large bags of um, kale. I think this one is from Costco, if I remember correctly, and then, then I freeze it. I will actually freeze most of my greens, like my spinach or my lettuce, because they defrost so quick and it keeps it from wilting. Um, and then you can use it past its expiration date, so that's a little trick for you. Um, I Okay, so I do lots of kale, and be careful because kale, when it's frozen, literally breaks like glass. Um, but I'm gonna do quite a bit here, because once you blend it, it really shrinks down. Okay, so I have my blender pretty much full of frozen kale, and then I am going to add water up to about here at that like 24 ounce mark. I like to have my smoothies a little bit thicker, so I am careful with how much water I add in the beginning, and if I need to like water it down later on, that's fine. It's just, it's a lot harder to thicken it up um, than it is to water it down. If you do need to thicken it up, what I suggest is use a little bit of ice, but I use all frozen items so that it's more of like a, like a really thick, like almost like an ice cream type of texture. Um, but today I am gonna go a little bit more watery because I'm looking for more of like a juice texture, um, but like a frozen juice, right? So there's like ice cream smoothie and frozen juice. Like those are all very different textures for me. Um, anyway, so the, after I get the kale in, that is when I will blend it up. So I'm going to blend this up first um, because I want my kale to be completely like blended together before I add all of my other ingredients. Okay. 
Okay, so now I have this like kale like juice on the bottom as you guys can see and it blended way down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some lemon juice and then the rest of my greens. So I'm gonna just pop it open. I'm gonna add a dash of lemon juice. That's going to cut the grassy taste. I'm going to add some spirulina powder, spirulina. And I don't really measure it out. I just add like a sprinkle of each one just because the health benefits are so good. Um, and then I also add wheatgrass juice powder and this is really good um, in all smoothies and it gives you a really good energy boost. I will add chia seeds because the protein content in two tablespoons is ridiculous. It's like six grams of protein. And I just add just like a little like like handful, I'd say about one to two tablespoons of chia seeds. Um, sometimes I will add um, freeze dried acai powder. Um, this is actually really nice to have on hand if you wanna do smoothie bowls. Um, I like to do like the acai um, smoothie bowls, but I'm just gonna add a sprinkle of that today. And then I add in hemp hearts, and these are a really good source of omegas. Um, there's 10 grams of protein, 12 grams of omegas, three and six. It just, it tastes kind of, it's like a nutty flavor. It just gives it like a little bit of a texture. Same with the chia seed, it gives a little bit of a texture. It's super yummy. I'm going to blend this up and then we will add in the fruit. For this one, I am adding a whole frozen banana. I just defrosted a little bit in the microwave so that I can open it up. Um, these ones were like bananas that were going bad. I usually use these for like banana bread or banana muffins. And then like if I want to freeze bananas for smoothies, I will wait till they're like a little bit brown and then I will peel them and like slice them and put them into babies. Um, but these guys I just froze like cool and then um, I defrost them in the microwave a little bit. And I'm just going to add a handful of strawberries. I think there's like six here. If you're going low carb, I suggest that you add less fruit because the more fruit, the more sugar and carbs you're going to have. When I'm super low carb, what I will do is add just like half a banana and like three strawberries to cut that sweetness. Um, but I'm adding a couple handfuls of pineapple here and then I'm going to blend it up and see what the consistency looks like and see if we need to add more fruit or if we need to add more ice. All right. And this is a really good consistency. It's like thick, but not too thick. Right. Kaya likes these, Riker loves these, my sister even likes these, these are so good. Um, and then I just have like a, like a wider straw so that um, a little, if there's like any chunks in there, cause that kale does kind of chunk up a little bit. Um, I just wanna make sure that I have a thick, like a wide enough straw so I can um, drink through it, but this is seriously, this is such a good meal replacement if you're looking to drop a couple of pounds, but also just green smoothies are so good for you in general and they boost your metabolism, they boost your energy, they do all of the things for you. I love these, I love these. The energy I get is ridiculous because look at all of the health powders that I add in here. Great stuff. Okay guys, I am going to drink my smoothie. I'm going to edit a couple of videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog and my smoothie recipe and I hope you guys go and try out a picnic yourself. Again, I will have all of Blue Ellie's products linked down below for you guys. I absolutely love all of their little containers. I use like anything from their snack pouches to like their cold containers to their little lunch boxes. They're so handy, especially in the summertime. All right, you guys, I will see you in a couple days for another really fun video, okay? Bye, guys.